Hey guys, that's been here for 6 day. Welcome back to the Pac-Man Fever playthrough. Here we're gonna be doing the space part and yeah. Oh yeah, I'll, uh, I don't know what I was gonna say. Oh, and for this board we're uh, we're gonna be including Miss Pac-Man and Tiger because they haven't been on a board yet. And I brought back Ashroff just because you know. Yeah, yeah, it's just Ashroff. I say just because he has the. Oh yeah, the one who came in second last time. So yeah, that makes sense. Either way, if it was Pac-Man, I probably still would pick Ashroff because I can never get the both Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man together in one board game, but not with me using one of them. It's almost impossible to get those two in one board game, but without using one of them. Okay, anyways, so, uh, new mini game abduction. Catch as many aliens as you can. The player with the highest score wins. Use the control stick or the control pad to move your spaceship. Explode if your beam touches an exploding alien, your beam will stop working for a couple of seconds. Get one point for catching an alien. And it's not like once I give you more points, right? Like the closer they are to exploding, the more points you get. Like right before they explode, you get three points, or when they're flashing, but not like like or like they start flashing, you get two points, and they are just you know they're just. They don't have anything going off them except just moving around. Then yeah, you get like one point. They're always one point. So one point, or they explode by you to make your ship stop working for a couple seconds. I can see the description. I mean, the uh, instructions. I don't know why I said like that kind of exploded. Yeah, this minigame is actually pretty easy. It's not the easiest, but it's one of the. As long as this bitch rules, this pack does doesn't get in my way. Because she is so annoying. And I can't take it for any more crap. Even though it has been a while since I played more of this pack man. Which actually, oh my god, about like almost a year ago. The very last time I played this on my PS2 was like, I think a year ago or something like that. I don't remember. Well, this is the very last time I played on my PS2. However, I deleted the memory card thing, so unfortunately I can't check it. Oh no, I score perfect. I wasn't even trying to get a first base high score. I was just trying to win. And there you go. Good for you, Miss Pac-Man. You came in second, and good for you, Tiger. You barely got one point to beat Ashroff. Although, if you got one point less, you still would avoid the ghost score anyways. Because Occupy keep moving. Well, if Ashroff got a couple more points, he would have actually taken the victory. <laughs> And yeah, I'm, you probably know what I'm gonna steal for. I'm gonna steal for Miss Pac Man. One, because you got the highest placement, and two, she's annoying. In my opinion, she's very annoying. I've never played it for her in a long time. It's actually the first time I played it for her in the GameCube. Last I played it was. And last I played the. Look, with Miss Pac Man in a board game was. Back on my PS2, which was a long time ago. Not a long time ago, but yeah, it, it was a little bit ago. I've had this version for actually quite a while. It's kind of funny. I never thought I'd actually get this version. I normally got the PS version because, you know, like, the game game version is, like, way more popular than this one. Wait, did I say this one? Excuse me, then the PS2 version. Not great, she's got the tokens back. Doubled. Alright, I didn't take from her, then basically that would have been the token to start off with. You know, I mean, another set of tokens to start off with. There's a big amount of tokens to start off with. Basically. Okay, I'll stop saying that. Anyways. Like, let's continue. Oh yeah, Rocket Blast. Another mini game. I like this one actually. Did I put it in my list? I did. But I forgot to say. Hold on a second.
branch, I'm just gonna leave the cap off. This video game is mostly a reference to Market Mall from the previous board. We do board. Shoot as many rockets as you can. The player with the highest score wins. Use a control stick or the control pad to move your character. Uh, move your cursor. Press the A button to shoot. Yeah, you have the same cursor as the other mini game. You can probably see one. So, yeah, you can see not okay. For the best. First. For our best results, uh, aim for the tip of a rocket. Get five points for each rocket. You always get five points. Not like you know the, the you know, the earlier you shoot it, the more points you get. And, like the later you shoot it, the less points you get. It's always five points. I guess that makes sense. That is decent, especially for moving targets. I get time for first very easily in this one. You just need to stop. Okay, no, no, you do need to stop. Stupid news. I can get out one. Perfect. Although Miss Bitch Mole's got another second place with more armor. I can lift that as long as I. As long as I'm ahead. Oh, challenge square. I actually feel like giving this to him because if I win this, then I'll just have my tokens to Tiger when he gets a revenge score. So yeah, I'm just gonna give this to Astroff. Oh, wait, hold on. Actually, it doesn't matter because I'll still have more tokens. I'll be the one losing tokens instead because I. Wait, actually, I have. Oh, dang it. Oh, for... Fuck, I forgot. It's, pa it's Miss Pac Man the same number of tokens as me, not the other one. Damn it. If you challenge Miss Pac Man, it's worth 42. Not 42, I'm gonna say 42 tokens or what? Oh, wow! You could challenge Miss Pac Man, and then we get this mini game and this mini game that she does like way too good on. If you ever see Miss Pac Man as a CPU in this one, she does really good at this one. I don't mean in a good way, I mean in a bad way. It, it, I'm, I'm not impressed or anything, it's just. Oh my god, Miss Pac Man's a total bitch in this mini game, she's annoying. So you could just challenge Miss Pac Man instead, that would be great. And no matter what, I'm gonna just have my tokens. Right. He'll have some tokens if I let him win this, but if I win, then I'll have to give more to Tiger. Damn it. You know what? I'll just try to make the best of it. That's funny. They made the sound effect right. One more sound effect. The sound effect from Ashroff's. Dart. Uh, I mean, I mean, so, uh, the sound effect from my dart was the same one as Ashraf's, just a little bit after. And there's also another one right, right after this. So, whatever. Doesn't matter anymore. Great, now this guy gets half my tokens. Although, if I get a team minigame and my side wins, I can take them back with the revenge where I can land on. And maybe get a win. No, I can't. So the more tokens they have, the more you get back. Yeah, a team minigame would be so appreciated right now, as long as I'm now off Ashraf. Okay, this duel. Okay, this mini game is actually pretty hard, but it's pretty cool too. Even though it's pretty hard. That's why I love this mini game and I hate this mini game. It's cool because you know the because the concept, but it's very hard. Hit the other players with your discs. The, the dicks. I meant to say discs. The player with the high score wins. Use the control stick or the control pad to move. Press the A button to throw a disc. So it's such a positive minigame. That's good. Don't stay in one place. It is harder to hit a moving target. Get seven points for hitting another player with your disc. Lose three points for each time you're hit. I think there's a minigame like this in the... Well, there is a minigame like this, but it's actually in the tropical board, not the medieval board. What if it says like five you win you hit someone, but if someone hits you, you lose a point. Damn it, I can't have Miss Bitch Moles win another minigame. Wow, everybody was typing first at a moment right there, except for 
Tiger Boy. Or should I say Tigger Boy? I like the like button that way. Whenever I get mad at Tiger, I'm like, hey, Tigger Boy, what are you doing? I call him Tigger, like, wait at the pool. Yeah. Like the Tiger character. Or it's Tigger, so it's switched up. Okay, I got second place, but I hate Miss Pac Man for winning. Although, at least she didn't get third place, but whatever. Yeah, I got a spring square. Alright, perfect. No, I don't want to win the next minigame because I'll get a ghost square, so I gotta remember that. Wait a minute, where's that? Uh, 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 let's say Tiger going. Oh crap, he's gonna. Oh no, he's not! If he got last place, where else would he go? He's gonna be going to the token square. Can make him perform his Pac Man. Oh yeah, and I completely forgot to mention. Order of play is decided by the player order. Player 1 moves first, and then player 2 moves, and then player 3, and then player 4. Oh, now it's working. Okay, let's continue. Wait, hold on a second, I just gotta itch my arm. Okay, I remember, I don't want to be first place. Oh, my favorite minigame? What? Although I have an idea, since Ashraf sucks so much at this one, then, yeah. Well, at least as, as the AI, he really sucks at this, so yeah, I can just purposely give away the victory to someone else. Although I don't want Miss Pac Man getting the victory or the second place, that's the problem. Shit. When she gets first place, she gets a store square. She gets second place, she gets a revenge square. Damn it. No! One point ahead! Damn it! Shit! Fuck! Yeah, first place is a source score for Miss Pac-Man. Damn it. Oh, here's a mini game that's used for a team mini game. Okay. Solar Soccer. Shoot as many balls into the other team's goal as you can. The team with the highest score wins. Or in this case, it's one versus one. So yeah. But you made the player with the highest score wins. Doesn't matter. Use the control stick or the control pad to move. Press the A button to kick. I mean, uh, it's actually to grab a ball and then shoot it. That's one strange way of saying something. Motor. Move towards the other team's goal to shoot your ball faster. You can cause the walls to bounce balls into the other two goals. Use the walls to bounce the balls. That's funny. Well, it doesn't seem loud, but whatever. Alright, nice. Was that one ball? I wasn't even trying to get in. I just really got it in because I did. I don't know why that. Check that out one for one. No, no. Nice. That one made sure I won. So even if he got that other ball in, that was going towards my goal. Or if there was like. A couple more seconds, then you could have actually gotten it in. Well, no, three more seconds, then yeah, you'd probably get it in. Yeah, I'm tied with Tiger for the most tokens. With the most tokens. For the most tokens. 
a good Ashrock camp, I'll move the player back. That will be annoying. Send me back a few spaces, and then Miss Pac-Man in the storage square to send me back a few more. That will be really annoying. I'll send me back four spaces will be fine because, you know, I prevent her from getting some. Okay, good. She can't buy anything that gets me back. Good, good, good. Although, I have to be first place to be safe from a friggin' ghost square next turn, or at least second. But second, I get a spring square. If I'm first, I get a store square. I mean, a cherry raffle space. Although, I'd really like it if Pac- uh, Pac I would say, Miss pac got last or second next turn. Mostly last. Because she gets second, then she can spring back to the revenge square and get a lot of tokens out of that. Okay, I got something right here. See you when we continue. Bye.